Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, and we back at it with another Forza Motorsport 6 build video, man. Um, if you guys are enjoying these videos, don't forget to smash that like button if you guys are not subscribed yet. Um, you know, definitely subscribe, man, because that way you can stay tuned with what we're doing, man. Uh, before today's video, as always, we do have a request coming from a couple people on YouTube, the Daily Life, Louis J. Bello, Daniel Frail, and Matthew Feliciano all want to see the Nissan IDX Nismo build, man. Um, now, I kind of suggested... Now, I kind of suggested this build when we did the Nissan Juke build, man. And if you guys have not seen this car, I don't even think that it's like a real life car, man. I think it was just a concept car, possibly a show car made specifically for a certain event. But this is it right here, the 2015 IDX. Now, I'm not 100% sure what motor comes inside of this thing. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments section. Now we're going to select this manufacturer color right here uh, simply because it looks absolutely ridiculous. Uh, 37,000 credits, no big deal. And now that we own this thing, we're just about ready to start upgrading. Now like I said before, not too sure what this thing comes with stock. Doesn't look like a whole lot of horsepower, 160 kilowatts, of, you know, about 200 and some odd horsepower. The torque, I guess, is really where it's at. Um, here we have the RB26 engine swap, uh, 1.6 liter, not sure what that comes out of, or a 5.3 liter, 4.5 liter, oh, what am I reading? 4.5 liter V8, not sure what that comes out of, man. That would be cool if it was some sort of a Nissan pickup truck, but I'm interested to see what the, the uh, stock engine in this car can do, so I'm gonna go ahead leave that on we're gonna also leave the stock arrow on there i don't know something about that uh that wing just wasn't doing it for me um and as far as the tire compound goes we're gonna do a race tire compound um i'm gonna go ahead and install wider tires both front and back now i really like this style of wheel i think if if this was an actual concept car I'm not sure if it's a production car but for a concept car, man, those wheels really work. They're very out there, but also look uh, very stylish. I'm not sure if I want to keep those wheels on here, man. Oh, we could slam it on the Tarmax. Oh, wait, those aren't the Tarmax. Where the Tarmax, man? Let's slam it on Tarmax, bro. We'll do it straight haggard garage style. Uh, let me see if I can even find those wheels real quick. Like, I think these are pretty much as close to Tarmax as we're going to get, man. Um, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. Slam this one on Tarmax and daily it, even though it may look a little bit goofy, man. Uh, let's do it true haggard garage fashion, man. Um, so now that we got all that out of the way, we're going to upgrade the clutch. Now, what I'm going to do with this build is leave the engine completely stock and upgrade everything else. Now, what that's going to do is really allow me to get a feel for what this car is going to be like stock and you know it might be a little bit lighter it might have like better brakes better suspension and stuff like that but we're going to leave this thing 100 percent stock and uh obviously you guys know we need to slam it so we're gonna go oh it doesn't even look like we can go that low man that's kind of weak but i think either way it's still gonna look uh i don't know why man i was never really a fan of the tarmax unless i until sorry not unless until i seen them on chow's ls 400 i think i called it a is 400 um in a previous video and his ls 400 and honestly those wheels look great on that car man and i don't know for some reason i've always been like really big on like dishes and stuff like that and having lips and those wheels obviously don't have that but that car pulls it off now i was hoping we might be able to get get an ls 400 in this game but unfortunately not able to happen right now but um we're gonna keep it moving with this Nismo right now and uh, maybe in, you know, maybe some other game. I don't know what Forza uh, Motorsport 7 is gonna have in store for us or for that matter, Gran Turismo Sport. Hopefully there's some newer cars in there, uh, some older cars, but newer that we haven't seen in any games before. 
Um, but now that we got that all out of the way, the only thing left to do now is paint this thing. Um, so really, I do like this aggressive Nismo, like body styling and everything like that. But I, I'm interested to see what this thing would look like with just a plain paint job on it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and skim through a couple of options here. Now, even just the white is looking pretty sharp, man. I do like that. I think we're probably going to end up going with just straight white. Pretty much taking off the stickers is what we're doing here. So let's go ahead, take care of that. Install that real quick. Uh, the wheels, we're going to leave the way that they are, but we are going to tint those windows. And I'm thinking this thing is just about ready to hit the road, man. So let's go daily this bad boy, shall we? Like I was saying, very interested to see what this thing will do stock. So before we take it to the actual track and see if it'll drift and all that good stuff, we're going to take it to the drag strip and see what this thing will do in its stock form. Now keep in mind... We didn't do a single thing beside to the engine. All suspension uh, upgrades as well as some weight reduction brakes and stuff like that. A 14.4 second car is what this thing is stock. Which I honestly have to say does not disappoint me, man. This thing is totally realistic. My Ultima, when I first took it to the track, uh, ran like 14.9 and that's... That's what a, like a, a regular car runs, man. So to be honest, I can't even say that I'm mad. Let's see if it'll do a burnout, though. Barely, man. Just barely. Now, I don't think that I looked at the actual drivetrain setup. It looks like this could be an all-wheel drive setup, to be honest. Let me get a little look here. Now, let's, let's go to... Uh, tune setup let's find this out for sure man differential okay so we're only rocking a rear wheel drive differential here it really wouldn't make sense for this car to have all-wheel drive since it really doesn't come stock with that that much power sounds great I think the handling aspect of this car is really going to be what it comes down to and really what makes this thing a fun build. Because obviously, we didn't even do anything to the engine here. Oh, don't lose her. Let's get an interior shot, man. What's this thing look like from the inside? Oh, wow. Now, this is different, man. This is definitely different. It sounds like a Miata, and I'm not going to lie, it almost drives like a Miata. Very small wheelbase, small displacement engine, not putting out a lot, a lot of power. And it's light, nimble. Sounds great in that tunnel, man. really nothing to write home about as far as the power goes though like you could you could walk all over this thing with just about anything in this game and that's not a lie man this thing is very very slow but you know with a little bit of of uh, work i'd be interested definitely hear a turbo on there oh and we just wrecked both sides now i'd definitely be interested to see what this thing would do with a little bit of work probably be an absolute monster here I'm not really sure the route they were trying to go with this thing it looks like kind of an old-school Datsun so maybe they're trying to do like you know an homage to some of the older style Nissans that were available uh, way back when I don't know man it's uh, it's it's a fun car nonetheless uh, but what we got to do is restart here obviously because I completely wrecked the whole side of this thing oh when you turn and let those wheels spin they definitely do a little burn out there barely yeah once those uh, rpms got get up there you're actually looking pretty good man um, but what I'm thinking is we are probably gonna put an end to this video 
I'm not really sure on the time for this one, but I feel like I've been talking for a very long time. Um, so yeah, I think that's what we're going to do for this one. Uh, but as always, if you guys enjoyed this one, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys want to see more and you're not subscribed yet, um, did I say subscribe? smash the like button? Also smash subscribe. And um, yeah, man, if you guys have any requests, don't forget to let me know what you guys want to see down in the comment section. And that's about it for this one. So as always, I'm your boy Dinali, a.k.a. Don Squally. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And we're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace. Oh, oh, no. Oh, for fuck's sake, every fucking time. Showdown, bitch. I had a V8, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Recovery of a lifetime. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Yeah, just keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the racer anymore.